and just show people. He's over here. And this is Napoleon Dynamite from the 2004 movie, which was like a billion years ago. Yeah. <laughs> now, gosh. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> Dang it, Tina! Tina, come here! <laughs> and this is Malcolm Landgrab. He's the only non, like, you know, he's the ori- one of the originals, the OGs from the, the game. The before I deleted all the, all the Sims that weren't related yeah, to my characters or downloaded from somewhere else. Yeah. Last survivor of the original Sims. Last survivor. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to see how I can t- make his age, um... Let, let's let's age up Mitya. Let let me see how I can do that. Uh, okay, MC Command Center, I think. MC CAS should okay. be like this. Let me see. Is it under cheat or? Um. Okay, I already enabled cheats because you know it's just easier to do that. So I should just say enable modify household in CAS. So I can change okay. Meteor's age. It's just easier to do that than wait for him right. to age up. Because I disabled aging. Because if I, you know, I enabled aging, I'm pretty sure like the older characters, like the Dean or Trump, are gonna die within a few days. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah, and I have oh, to revive no. them again if they just keep on dying, right? Right. Exactly. And that's just going to be irritating because then you know you have to worry about the urn and then like when you revive them it's like there's complications at at their workplace and everything yeah and it's for some weird reason they can get divorced from their spouses when they die man they literally mean till death do you part yeah so this is Michia as a little boy he's so cute So this is what he looks like when he's older, as a teen. Wow, that's pretty cool. It looks like canon, you know, except for the hair. Yeah, I'm going to replace his hair. Maybe he should have something that's a little bit different like this, because I don't think any other character has this hairstyle so far. I thought Lara had that hairstyle. Oh, right, he did, yeah. Or this is the Sam hairstyle. I don't know how it looks on him, though. What do you think? Mm, I don't know. I think it's it's a little bit too similar to what other like some other people have. I get you know, well, I guess he's going into seventies vibe. How about um, this? I like it. Let, let me see what, if there's anything else. Would you say that Michi is more of a long-haired kind of dude, or is he more of a short, updo kind of guy? Maybe longer, but this this is ugly though. I don't think this works. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. He looks like he's trying to, I don't know, get into a really cheap Shakespeare play. That actually looks nice, that one there. Yeah, this one, this is the Andre hairstyle. OMG. I think it looks really sweet on him. Yeah, we can try this to make him stand out more from from Sam because his hairstyle looks too similar, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. And that can get confusing. And here's a better skin for him. A more realistic yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah, because he's an outdoors he's an outdoors dude. Yeah, okay, good. His face doesn't look anything like Sam's. Cause I think in the past, like I said on on on, you know, Instagram, one of the problems I had with Mitya and Sam back in 2015 was that they looked too similar. Yeah. Yeah, they did. I mean that was kind of a, not necessarily a problem, but there was too much similarity. It got confusing. Mm-hmm. What should his um, aspiration be? Um, let's see what we have. Um, is it maybe no- knowledge or athletic? Maybe knowledge. What do you think? That might- I don't know. Wasn't he originally more athletic, though? That's true. Yeah. Bodybuilder? I think that's a little bit exaggerated. (laughs) Yeah, that's too much. I mean, that's like like Andre would do. (laughs) (laughs) Well, let's just put it as bodybuilder to make him more unique from all the thinking sims that we already have. You know, all the ones who have the nerd brain. (laughs) Self-assured, definitely. Uh, Active. Active. Yeah, Harumas, 
Triska. <laughs> Yay, Michi is a teen now. Let's see what kind of clothes yeah. I can give him that look not as ugly as the default ones. Yeah, some of those are... It, it just gives off a, you know, 2003 vibe of personality. Yeah. <laughs> How about this? I like this. I like that. That looks pretty cool. Mm-hmm. All right, great. We have Mitya. Awesome, awesome, and he looks so cool. Yeah, maybe he, uh, maybe he'll bump into Andre and be bros with him or something. I think he would be. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting to explore Mitya again, and this time we can make him more fleshed out. Yes, yes, we can. We can. He's he's very interesting to work with. I think. Um, I think I worked with him once, didn't I? In a commission? Yes, you did. Yeah. Yeah, that was very interesting, because he's... I don't know, there's, there's something so earnest about him. You know what I mean? Like, there's just this striking, earnest quality. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and the contrast between him and his dad. Like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for the RP today. It was very good. I like how subtle it was. You know, unlike last time where Andre was being provoked by Ardayan. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that I thought that was wonderful because, like, it was subtle. It was, like, just a darting minnow of, of subtle fear and, and like, uh, oh, underhanded talking, underhanded comments and... Evsay didn't have to say anything. He already kind of set a threatening tone in the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's clear that he's not a friendly person. I mean, Ardayan was trying to be friendly, but it didn't really work. I think Evsay was giving a fake friendliness. You know, like a fake civility, a fake friendliness. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in the end, you really saw he was just trying to get his claws into Ardayan and, and see what he could make, you know, make him tick or something. Mm -hmm. And Ardayan doesn't like that because it's usually him getting under people's skin. Yeah, exactly. So it's like the devil met his own match in another devil. Mm -hmm. But he's not really annoyed by him per se. It's not like how Andre was reacting to Ardayan. That's true. That's true. Because Evsay wasn't perped like wasn't perturbed at all at um um at Ardayan. In fact, if anything, he kind of found him interesting and actually sees him as a weaker opponent. Ironically, mm -hmm. which Ardayan's not going to like. He's not going to like the fact that Evsay might have the you know might be on the higher step, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Ardayan, I mean, just, he was just, you know, really taking poor Andre to the laundry, you know, mm -hmm. in, the, in the previous. Oh, sorry. When do we know, do, do you know when we're going to know who's going to become the president of the United States? Um, I don't know. Sometimes it's announced like 3 a.m. in the morning. I know it was in the last election. It might come faster. But then again, there's this weird thing in Pennsylvania because of the whole Corona craziness is that. Uh, the mail-in ballots that, you know, people aren't going to know the real, real, real results until Friday. Oh, yeah. I, I heard about that. Yeah, so... Yeah, my state is apparently the essential linchpin for this election this time, so... Wasn't it Ohio? No, 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 Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Yeah, Pennsylvania and Florida are the big players in this game, so... We're kind of the essential linchpins in this uh, election. At least that's what the news says. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, fun times, fun times. And I say that with much, much grain of salt and sarcasm. Did you vote for Trump? I voted as a, you know, just sort of a civic duty. I'm. <laughs> I don't think I want to say who voted since this is being live, you know. Mm hmm. <laughs> Because it's hard to tell who is who on, on, on Twitch and the Discord. <laughs> We're going to get spammed by Republicans. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even want to know. I, I don't even want to know what side. You know, because like, everyone's just worried about rights and stuff now because Americans apparently can't handle anything. We're like, sort of like, you know, 
violent crybabies. It's like imagine if you trapped a child inside someone's body. Yeah, I mean, like, th even hearing that someone is voting for the opposite side just gets some people really riled up. And they pull the oh, guns yeah. out. It's crazy. It is, it is. I mean, it sounds like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here it is. Okay. So here's Mitya. Now he's a teen. Miraculously became a teen. <laughs> Miraculously, by the by the wonder of by the wonder of the modifiers. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I am creeped out by the Zuckerberg sim. He looks very accurate to his real self, especially his eyes. It's amazing. <laughs> Whoever did this is a master simmer. I know. Oh my god, let's have Mitya talk to Napoleon. I wonder how he would interact with him. Oh, I want to see it. Wow, <laughs> Borat's really chatting up with uh, chatting up with Sania. Of course. You remember how he was a womanizer, sort of. <laughs> no, I, that's what I'm saying. It's like there's just so much uh, canon here. <laughs> Yeah, because um, Borat's, um, his aspiration is his t is to find his soulmate. <laughs> oh my gosh, I certainly hope it's not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, oh my god, that was Kai. Oh my gosh, was that Kai running? Yes. Oh, and... Uh, Omitia can complain to Napoleon about his parents. Oh yeah, absolutely. That is so Napoleon Dynamite. Oh my god, he can ask Napoleon about woohoo. <laughs> How do you think Zuckerberg would react to to Ardayan? <laughs> what did you say? How would Zuckerberg react to Ardayan? Um, I guess he would tell him to be careful on Facebook, I guess. You know, please don't post all these incendiary posts, you know, it makes you kind of give the social media platform a bad name and, and stop stop spamming uh, other people's accounts or something. Are they on such a troll? He is, he's the ultimate Facebook troll. I mean, he's the reason why so many people see Facebook. <laughs> he's the... I, I gave up Facebook like four or five years ago. I kissed it goodbye. Ardeon is the boomer who just keeps on sending people fake news. And he believes yeah, it. And then he sends them like um, uh, irrelevant, irrelevant uh, memes. Of course. Like those old people memes. Exactly, and for some reason they're always like, I don't know, with the minions or something. Oh, ew, yeah. <laughs> I love how chill Napoleon is here. Yeah, he's he doesn't seem very nervous. No, he doesn't. I'm glad. I'm glad he deserves to be chill. He's a sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, one of his traits that the person who made him is good. I love that. And the other one's clumsy. Well, that's true. <laughs> well, that, that's true. God bless. <laughs> I keep thinking of the movie and I'm just laughing over and over again. It was, it's such a classic. It is. It's so millennial. It, it's not Gen Z. It is. I mean, well, I think that's what makes it, like, particularly... Um, something that we are fond of because we as millennials just look on that you know with such because it's like the pinnacle of our you know how do i say it's the the emergence of the planet, you know mm -hmm. <laughs> now that he's a teen i wonder how ardayan interacts with mitya talk about money to mitya I meant no an irony because our parents are teenagers and <laughs> Oh, Borat shows signs of the jester archetype. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's who he is. That's, that's, I mean, that's essentially what Borat, um, besides womanizing and exploring things, that's what he does. And being a provocateur. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh my gosh, we should put, um... We need to put Borat and Arda Yon, like, doing something together, like, fishing and, I don't know, maybe they get in a fight or something. They should piss Andre off. 
Oh, oh my gosh, so they can team up together, so they're like allies. Like, oh, let's provoke people together so they can provoke Andre together. Oh, who else should they provoke? I remember last time we joked about him, like, provoking someone to death. Not Ryza, but someone else. Was it oh. one of your characters? Gleb? Oh, was he cool enough? Because I don't know if you can provoke him to death. Because like, Gleb is not easily provoked. I guess Andre's the only one. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, Kai? But then again, Kai is pretty even tone. Like, you, you can't provoke him too bad. Or can we? I don't know. <laughs> I think one of the reasons why Zuckerberg kind of looks weird in some pictures is his forehead. Like, and something about his hairstyle. It always makes it look like his forehead's really small. Yeah, and also, I think also his, um, his jawline just sticks out so <laughs> What? Oh my god, Ardayan, when I clicked on Zuckerberg from uh, Ardayan's point of view, confess attraction to <laughs> Zuckerberg. <laughs> He's gonna do that. Oh, I know Ardayan is, is a womanizer, but, but the fact that he wants to, you know, confess undying love to Zuckerberg, <laughs> volume. <laughs> he really likes Facebook. Oh no. <laughs> he really loves Facebook. <laughs> We're talking about llamas. Where's Napoleon? He needs to hear about these llamas. <laughs> yeah, where did he go? Yeah. Is he at school? He's oh. grilling something in the park. Oh. That sounds good. That makes sense. He's, he would be grilling. <laughs> Tater tots. Tater tots. That's exact. Oh my gosh. Who remembers eating tater I mean, I think we all have eaten a tater tot. Oh, know, it's I mean, Mitya. Yeah. Oh, he's eat Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that a burger or, or a hot dog? It's part of a hot dog. Oh, they're all in the park now. That's awesome. Oh, by the way, I just realized they are right next door to to Andre's house. Remember the Russian house? They are right next door to them. Oh my gosh, Borat and Ardayan, they can just make a beeline for that house and start provoking. <laughs> okay, they're gonna do that. They're gonna do that. I think Andre would like Napoleon. I think he'd think he's a nice kid, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's have all of them visit. Napoleon... Mitya, Sania, Mark Zuckerberg, Borat, and Ardayan. Oh my gosh, this is pure chaos. I, I can't wait to see what erupts from this thing. And, and Trump later on. Trump. Oh no. Oh. Well, how, would, how do you think Sam would react to Napoleon? Sam would befriend him. He'd be like, hey there, and then he'd, like, encourage him to, like, maybe go do something fun because, you know, he realizes, you know, um, you know, Frankie might be busy and just hanging out with Joel is a constant headache and stomach ache. So hanging out with Napoleon wouldn't actually be that bad. It would actually be kind of fun if he got him into the groove of something, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder how that would be yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean... Maybe they can do something, I don't know, that's sort of niche, but not necessarily nerdy. You know, mm -hmm. like it, it could be nerdy, but, but not, not overblow nerdness. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's now becoming so mainstream, so, like, Dungeons and Dragons is no longer considered nerd territory now. <laughs> What's nerd territory now? Um, I don't know. I'm tempted to say playing... You know, Minecraft from 2013, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, my buildings fell apart or something. <laughs> How about P PUBG? You know those, like, mobile games where you, like, it's kind of like Counter-Strike? Oh, yes, they keep pushing that, like, on my game launcher, the PUBG. Yeah, so do you think that's nerdy or not nerdy? Uh, I don't think it's necessarily nerdy. I don't really think games are nerdy anymore because they're so mainstream. That's now. true. Everyone's playing them. Like, everyone now's going, you know, absolutely bananas for Among Us now. Mm hmm Yeah, I can't think of anything yeah. that's nerdy anymore. I mean, you know, Star Wars is definitely not nerdy anymore. And hasn't been yeah. for a long time. 
Yeah, I think there's nothing really nerdy anymore, except, I guess, maybe clinging on to nostalgia things, but now that's considered mainstream, it's considered hip now. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess yeah. talking about stuff from the 80s. That, yeah, that could be... Yeah, I think it's the more n- niche, weirder thing. So talking about the 80s, um, doing vaporwave edits, um, writing insanely long essays about fandom stuff, I guess that would be considered nerdy. Um, building Lego models, maybe? Oh, yeah, Lego, yeah. Yeah. I and- mean, like, so many people are still building Legos, but I, I guess if it's more, like, like insanely complicated, <laughs> I guess it could be seen as nerd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we are yeah. the game's nearly okay. Here we are. Oh, there, there, everyone yeah. is. Oh my gosh! Provocateurs w- unite. So where is? Okay, let me find Andre. That's Katya. Oh, Lara's here for some reason. Oh yeah, Lara is living with them, right? So that's why. Yeah, yeah, he is. So you know, he's trying to be the mediator between <laughs> Katya and Andre. He's thinking, I gotta repair this marriage. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm just hovering over Katya from Ardeon's perspective. Uh, Katya does not like him. Yeah, it, it sort of fits canon. <laughs> <laughs> How would Lara react to Ardeon? I'm going to get um, Ardeon to have a friendly introduction to Lara. Uh, I would like to do that. Um, I guess it would be where... I think Lara would, for the most part, be neutral. But I think he would distrust him. Does he think he's fake or weird or anything? Um, I think he probably thinks he's too sly for his own good. And Lara, although, even though Lara is kind of a, you know, clever fox, I don't think he likes that kind of cleverness that Ardayot has, like, provoking people. Because Lara doesn't like to provoke people. He likes to pacify people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're looking at each other right now. Oh, oh. There we go. It says Napoleon has signs of the innocent personality. That's true, he does. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh my gosh, Miku's doing push ups in the middle of the street. It's because he has the athletic quality. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so where is Andre? Did he go to work or something? Let's see. I don't know. Let's see where Andre is. Let's go inside the house. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see where our our fine man is. Oh, he's cooking again. Borat just disappeared from the group. Oh my gosh. I guess Borat's hungry. He really wants those. (laughs) He wants. He wants that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, is that Andre? I saw him. I saw him. Oh, look, Gleb's oh here too. Oh my gosh, Gleb is visiting his great, 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 great grandson now. Mitya can say hi to him, so I'm gonna get Mitya to say hi to him. Sure. So he's gonna join the group. Oh, he did join the group. Good. Okay, so now Gleb's part of the group. Oh, who's that? Is that Aiden? Yes, it is. Sure. Aiden is here. Okay, then oh we're gonna tr- get him to join the group too. Yeah. Yeah. Miti is calling all of them over. Oh my gosh, Miti is a social butterfly. Let's see if he successfully calls him over. Yeah. Oh no. Not, no, no, I have enough. Too many people. Okay, so now we can go inside the house. Olga's here. Olga's here. Oh, hello, hello, yeah. Okay, Malcolm, I did not call him here. I don't know why he follows me here. I don't know why. Malcolm, honestly, go away. <laughs> That's Arda Yon, so he's inside now. But where's Andre? He's looking for Andre oh to provoke God. him. <laughs> oh. Where, what, what, try clicking on Andre, or, or can't you click on Andre? I'm not playing him, so I have to find him manually. Is he in the basement? Okay, he is. I knew he was in the basement. <laughs> that sounds so wrong in the wrong context. <laughs> so where's Ardeyan? So he's going to provoke him in front of the horse statue. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the worst prov- That's the worst humiliation, being provoked in front of the horse statue. <laughs> oh 
Napoleon would want to uh, have the statue for Tina. Oh my god, yeah, and, and Borat's gonna join him downstairs to provoke Andre as well. Oh my god, Ardayon and Borat join forces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're going down now, yeah. <laughs> Why are they just standing there? <laughs> okay, now uh, he's going down to see him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there they are, both of them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Tell mean introduction or something. Talking about garbage. <laughs> Trash talking. Thank you, Bora. <laughs> <laughs> Mention fear of boredom. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cherish living in the moment. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Sitting on the bed talking. <laughs> 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 Mischief. Fake bad news. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like all this news is so fake. Goof around. <laughs> Goof around. Well, you know what, I think Sam would really like Borat. <laughs> he would, I was just about to say, they would get along splendidly. I think they might actually, like, I don't know, try to do a collab together or something. The, at the Comedy Cabaret Club. <laughs> exactly, I'd love to see that. <laughs> Oh my god, Ardayan's gonna throw a drink at at Andre. Oh but why god, is he just Ardayan. standing there? Like, what, is he doing it? Hmm. I have to say, I really like Andre with this hair. He he looks amazing. He does. I I am so happy with the hair. It is just. Fantastic. I love it. I love it to bits and pieces. Oh my god, he- Borat can flirt with Andre. <laughs> that is so weird. That would be weird. I wonder how Andre's gonna react to that. That would be interesting. <laughs> Throw drink. Why is he not throwing it? Maybe because there's no drink for him to throw. Maybe. Oh! It looks like he was trying to punch him. Standing in front of the shower. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my gosh, did he punch him? No, I think he was about to throw the drink at him. Oh my gosh. Insult my yard. Insult yard. Yeah. What else can he say? Express materialistic thoughts. Which Andre is just going to find oh. annoying. Start preposterous rumor. Oh my gosh. It's interesting how the mood is happy, not angry. <laughs> That's weird. Maybe because it maybe because Borat is not you know what I mean, he's not mean spirited per se. No, he's just incredibly clueless. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god, Ardayan has the ability to woohoo with Andre. Ew, please no. <laughs> he's For trying to woohoo everyone, I know. Honestly, he's probably gonna. I mean, I'm surprised he hasn't tried to. I don't know, woohoo the the plants or the trees yet. <laughs> oh my gosh! What pleasant? Really having a fun time. Pleasant conversation. <laughs> this is a pleasant conversation. <laughs> Man, maybe it's just because Borat's bringing good vibes. He's just bringing good vibes, y'all. <laughs> Did I see Napoleon walk in the room? Yes, oh. yes, he did. Yeah, he should talk I, to I them too. He's staring at that poor statue. <laughs> he's gonna he talk says, to Andre. I'm gonna, name you Tino. <laughs> I'm gonna name you Tino, he says. 
Okay, he's still staring at the sink. Really likes that sink. Now he's gonna talk to Andre. Oh, he threw a drink at him. Okay, now they're getting angry. <laughs> Yep, there we go, here we go. Oh, they're starting to dislike each other again. <laughs> oh, he's he's trying to get angry again. Mean. Insult house. Your house sucks. It's so, it's so old-fashioned. It's not modern like mine. Yeah. Imply, imp, imply mother is a llama. Napoleon will get interested in this conversation about llamas. <laughs> Tina! <laughs> Tell gross joke. Which is Ardayan's specialty. Oh, now Andre is very mad. Oh my gosh, like, like... I like how Borat's just, you know, happily chatting with Napoleon and... <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna get involved in this. No. I don't want a six point four man, you know, beat me up. No. <laughs> Especially when I first time in in this new country. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to get him to fight him. Abhorrence confrontation. Hmm. Maybe he needs to be more rude. Oh my, Andre's starting to look a little mad. He's very mad. To bar, to bar. You know, you know, Andre is mad when you know he sounds like that. Look at his his facial expression. Oh my gosh. He, yeah, let, let me expand the screen. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Andre's glaring. He's giving a. Oh, they're fighting now. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Oh my, oh my, oh my gosh, he just flipped him over. Sparza, Sparza. Sparza. Oh my god, they're just watching? <laughs> Looks kind of terrified, and Borat's like, "Huh, interesting." <laughs> wait, is this what these Americans do? Oh, wait, they're not American. <laughs> well, they're so, I guess I mean, what these Simpsons, Sim, Simmer, Sim, whatever that. Sims, called. yeah. Oh my God, he can beg forgiveness. <laughs> no, don't. Let's continue the meanness and, and have them be, I don't know, straightforward enemies. Or something. Declare enemy. Declare enemy. Oh, again! Yeah. They're fighting again! Oh my gosh! Break it up, man! Oh my, oh! Oh, poor Andre, he got dizzy. That was mean of you, Ardayan. You made Andre dizzy. Give fake bad news. What just happened? They are enemies now. No, they're enemies. Oh my gosh. Do, do, the music series now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, I love how Ardayan's laughing. Oh my gosh, Ardayan sounds like a bloody Disney villain. <laughs> Borat's thinking about sunglasses. Oh. Ardayan, I mean, poor Andre, he's just. Like, ah, oh, forget him. Napoleon is thinking about the computer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Borat's really having fun. <laughs> he needs to go to the washroom. <laughs> God bless him. Okay, let's have Zuckerberg talk to Andre. <laughs> yeah, I think Zuckerberg, you know, I think Andre would be pretty cool with Zuckerberg. You know, he's like, oh wow, smart, smart person. Make Facebook. <laughs> Let's have Mitya come down too. Oh look, 
aren't <laughs> sorry napoleon's on his phone oh my goodness maybe he's calling some oh there is zuckerberg <laughs> Pedro over. <laughs> what is Andre doing? He's just staring at the wall. I think it's because he's trying to talk to Arda Yon without ta looking at him. <laughs> what do you say? Wow, Napoleon's really getting into that phone. <laughs> yeah, Zuckerberg's a chill dude. <laughs> The opposite of uh, Arda Young, provocateur. <laughs> of course, uh, <laughs> everyone is the opposite of Arda Young. I mean, I, I think Mitya is sick of him, honestly. Very much. Oh, it looks like. Wait, what is. Wait, what is Borat doing? Is he washing dishes? No, he's washing his hands because he went to the washroom. Oh, good. Thank you for practicing. Oh my, what's he say? I mean, I'm sorry, I was trying to read what. Oh. Did someone yell Borat? <laughs> yeah, ironically. <laughs> Borat's gonna brighten up Andre's day after being pissed yeah, off. Let's take her out skiing. <laughs> Talking about the bat. Where's Katya? Oh. Kachi was out on the street with Lara and the land grab and <laughs> Rainbow. Oh. Arda Young. <laughs> Let's get all of them to visit Sam. I just want to see what happens. Or should they visit oh, Trump? What do you think? Um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think... Uh, you know what? With the day being as it is, send them to Trump's house. Yeah, that might be funnier. And don't forget that Ardayan is is in love with Trump. I mean, he look at his oh love gosh, bar. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I have a feeling Trump's gonna react negatively to poor Borat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Look at how many like enemies Ardayan has. Okay, Andre, Kai, oh Andre, wow. Kai, um, Riza, Lev. <laughs> I love how red her bar is. It's like the reddest bar I've seen. No, Andre's the reddest. And Kai. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, I see that now. Yeah, sorry, because like, the screen's so small on my screen. Yep, wow. okay, so let's invite Katya, too. Nope, not enough room. Okay, let's just invite these guys. <laughs> when are they traveling? <laughs> Why had Ardayan Mayakov show signs of the hero personality? What? How? How I don't know. He's eager he to demonstrate. The He's e eager to demonstrate the courage to prove their worth and confidence. I don't know if that's really heroic per se. Sounds like the makings of a borderline narcissist. <laughs> Isn't that what he is? That's true. That is what he is. Maybe he, maybe in, in The Sims, being a hero means you're a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> like in Greek literature or something. Oh, our hero. Oh, yeah, he's a narcissist. <laughs> Achilles. Yes. <laughs> so what I did was basically invite Trump to... to to all of those people I just showed you, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, Borat, and all those, and they're all going to Sam's house. So we get to see all of oh. them. Oh my gosh, this will make one doozy of a trio. I mean, well, group, I should say. Man, they are going to piss off Lev so much. Oh my gosh. This is just, <laughs> this is going to be one. One one party that no one I mean not a party but just a group of gathering that no one will forget. I'm gonna get all of them to piss off Lev. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Andre pisses off Lev though. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I think Andre and Lev they're pretty neutral with each other. Like Lev just like is like he just nods at Andre and Andre's like, Cool man, you know, cool daddy o <laughs> 
<laughs> he does think that Lev is too strict, though, right? Yeah, he does. He does, but I don't think he's gonna, like... I think he tries to encourage Lev to be easier on Sam, but he's not gonna, like, try to hinder on Lev's parenting skills or anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, we're going to bed soon. I'm really tired. Yeah, me too. But it is hilarious. I... I dearly love, um, I dearly love the additions of Borat and Napoleon and <laughs> Okay, we need to have Napoleon talk to Sam. I think they would be friends. Oh my gosh, yes! They'd be good bros. <laughs> How about Joel? <laughs> mm, I don't know. I think Joel would scare poor Napoleon away. Gosh. <laughs> Do you think he's a bully? comes across as a little bit of a bully don't argumentative types usually do <laughs> that's true but he's not a jock <laughs> that's true but i mean there's, there's like a variety of bullies you know what i mean not just jocks there's, um, <laughs> there's been kind of like a new category of bullies which are sort of like like intellectual know-it-alls that can be really hurtful and painful like i've noticed the whole nerd thing has died down it's, it's pretty much gone yeah, I think now they just go after people who are sensitive. Exactly. So Joel needs to watch himself because now he'll be seen as a bully. So the the victim becomes, you know, the, the victim maker. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone's so tired. Look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> not everyone can come. Andre would rather not come. Donald is sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's equal. Well, we all know that, you know, Donald just sleeps so much, but I'm laughing hysterically because uh, I think Andre didn't want to come because Ardayan's there. Of course, he's his worst enemy, right? So that's why. Exactly. <laughs> it's war an enemy now. So now they're going to go inside and piss off Lev. Oh my gosh. I think, I think Ardayan is the worst defender of pissing off Lev and... I don't know, do you think Borat would piss off Lev? I have a feeling that, you know, Borat would be fascinated by Lev. And why would he be fascinated by him? Because <laughs> he's know, also like, not American in America or something? Yeah, he doesn't behave, like, he doesn't, you know, adhere to social conventions around him. And, you know, he's like, wow, this is so interesting. So, you know, you are not like the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> what would he think of Sam, do you think? I think he would ask Sam to teach him all about the interesting American ways. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like writing it down in his notebook. Oh, so this is how it's done in America. <laughs> oh my gosh, so this is how it's done. And Sam, take me to this. Take me to this place. And then, I don't know, he wants him to take him to every tourist trap in New York City. <laughs> the, the Tenement Museum. <laughs> exactly. Oh, there you I don't know, is that a tourist? I don't think it's a tourist trap. I think that's... I, no one ever talks about the Tenement Museum. Trap. Except for me. <laughs> that's true. That's, that's, well, that's because, that's because you're, you're wonderfully detailed in your research. <laughs> okay, now Ardayan's going to talk to Lev. Rude introduction, I think, right? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Lev is feeling flirty. Oh my gosh, I certainly hope it's not with Art Ion. No, he's looking at the television. Oh. I guess that would have a whole other meaning. Yeah, what is he watching? He must be watching something quite uh, quite fascinating. Oh, look, it's Art Ion now. He just randomly appeared on the bed talking to him. Oh my gosh, he's a genie. <laughs> the worst genie ever. Oh, he already dislikes him. Oh my, well, yeah, that's how Ardayan is. <laughs> Mischief. Scare. <laughs> yeah, I just love how Lev is just glaring at him. <laughs> oh. Insult. You're not who you used to be, Lev. You're so damn ugly and tired and fat as an old man. Oh, Ardayan. What a rude bastard. <laughs> man, he, he's still flirty for some reason. I don't know. Oh my gosh. 
I guess nothing can damper Lev's spirits at this point. Oh, well, Lev is happy now, but he's not. Okay, Ardayan just disappeared. I don't know why. Hmm. That's unusual. Oh, they're in the hallway now. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wow. Lev is very flirty for some reason. I don't understand why. He, ne he normally never is. <laughs> it's funny. It it's hilarious. <laughs> Well, maybe he should flirt with Ryza, and that, that would probably get him very angry. Like, where is she? Oh my god. Wow, they're becoming friends, even though Ardayan just insulted him. Well, there's, yeah. there's Sam. How would Ardayan see Sam? He would see him as another stupid, spoiled kid, so he'll be rude to him. Oh my god. You are so cruel to everyone, honestly. Is there anyone you won't be cruel to? <laughs> like you said, you know, he, he just says, Yeah, Sam, you're just this pathetic kid from the Lower East Side who's still living with his parents, even though he's, you're already married. How rude. Especially in this economy, Ardayan. Speak for yourself. <laughs> at your at your age, Sam, I was out like, I don't know, like, you know, in Turkestan. <laughs> well, not everyone has your opportunities, Ardayan. Try growing up in a recession like this. Well, Ar let Yeah, she's in the other room. Lev is still flirty. Aww. It's so weird. This is such a it's, cra it's a crazy time we picked to visit him. <laughs> that television really made him flirty. <laughs> it makes me wonder what was on the television. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he was watching Arda Yan's films. <laughs> oh no, not that. Anything but that. Oh my god, Ardayan has the ability to woohoo Sam. Oh no. no woohoo in hot tub. No. No, no, no. Wow, they're all friends now? There's no arguments at all. No, no, there's not. That's weird. Ardayan wanted to say something mean to Sam, but he ended up not saying it. Oh my gosh, that's actually... Maybe, hopefully... Let's see how long he can go without saying something mean. Lev Abramov shows signs of the sage personality. They seek wisdom and focus on finding the truth in every situation. That's true, that fits him to a T. Oh, Napoleon went to school, so and Mitya too, so they can't talk to Sam. Oh, yeah, oh, that's a shame. Bikoya is <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zuckerberg's on the computer. <laughs> oh, oh my god, he's checking up on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's looking at a uh, lab's Facebook activity. Hmm, is this what got him flirty? <laughs> what has he, he oh, been looking no, at? No, no, no. <laughs> so Lev is not as strict as he claims he is. <laughs> I did not in private anyway. Not like the Dean. The Dean is strict every second of his life. <laughs> I know, this is what makes the Dean the most ironic character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Where is Ryza, though? I guess she went to work as an astronaut. <laughs> That's her job. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's just so random. <laughs> oh, she's back from work. I just saw her. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's done being an astronaut for the day. Mm hmm. Okay, let's get Ardayan to talk to her. Okay, let's see what happens. Where's Ardayan? <laughs> Ardayan's having a funny conversation with Borat and Sam. Oh my gosh, why does that not surprise me? Funny introduction. Let me see where Ryza went, because Ardayan got distracted by the sink. Because he had to wash his hands for some reason. Right. Where is Ariza? Nope. Is she in the backyard? Someone's cooking something again, but who is it? Damn. Yeah, I have no clue where she went. Yeah, that's weird. And where did Lev go? He disappeared too. That's Dashkovich. Oh, yeah, there he is. But where did everyone else go? I just see Sam and no one else. Hmm, weird. Yeah, it seems like Ryza disappeared again. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Bad. Getting tired, right? Yeah, you're getting pretty tired, yeah. But it has been pretty fascinating. Yeah, maybe we should- oh my god, look. He's like asleep. Oh my gosh, god bless, poor. Oh, Mitya's here. Yeah, we can continue next time. We're I think I'm really tired too. Yeah, that's a good idea. It was really great though, we had a lot of fun tonight. Yeah, hey, Gleb's here too, randomly jogging. Oh Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Absolutely. Thank you for inviting me for another stream, and I can't wait for us to do this again sometime again, like maybe this week or so. Yeah, we should get, you know, um, Ardayan to talk to Ryza, the middle-aged one, and see how she reacts. Or maybe he can talk to both of them at the same time, both versions of her. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. See how that goes. <laughs> and of course Trump, but then he never shows oh up. Oh my gosh, exactly. He, well, he's too busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh. let me see how we... Uh, so, yeah, well, let's end the stream, right? Yep, yep, we can end the stream now. That would be great. All right. All right, see ya. Yep.